What's up everyone, Reaction here, and welcome to my next video. Today we're going to be playing some Domination, and I believe I'm using the MP5K with Rapid Fire. And with that I'm using Scavenger, because I love Scavenger. And like I talked about in my last video. And uh, I don't think I had Pro version yet, still, so I didn't really get like the Tactical Grenade Refresh. But oh well, it's okay. I was using flash grenade again, even though I said I like concussion way better. And I'm not sure why, honestly. I can't remember why I was using it. I'm sure I didn't really have a reason. But the flash doesn't help me out right here. Check this epic move out. Wait for it. Yes. That's how to cap a flag right there. Flash yourself so that, like, when, you, uh, when you're capping, you know, it's kind of like closing your eyes. Like, you see an 18-wheeler coming down the road, and he's on your side of the road. And you just grab hold of the steering wheel and close your eyes. That's basically what that's like. You just hope there's no enemies coming and you close your eyes. That's how I like to look at it. It's a good strategy. It almost always works. As long as no enemies come. But anyhow. I uh, I wanted to mention. This game is not that great. It's just. I don't know. I get, I get, my, I get one set of kill streaks. That's all. And that basically makes it. To me, YouTube worthy. This game, I mean, the fact that my dogs did a pretty good job and stuff this game. I, I got a fair amount of kills, so, yeah, I kept it. Throw a commentary on it, see if you guys like it. But, I wanted to mention the fact that, you know, I, I just talked about this two videos ago, but I'm going to be back to college here soon. Uh, but I'm a week away as of this commentary. And with that, it's going to be coming a lot of a. Uh, a much better connection I should say and with a much better connection becomes much better scores and it makes me a lot more comfortable with my gameplay when every time I look at my scoreboard and I see a four bar connection which I'm not used to doing it just I don't know makes me a happy guy it makes me like I said a lot more comfortable so what I'm saying by this is I, I think I want to be doing a lot more live commentaries you know I've never done one yet I haven't done one yet. I'm doing a lot of grammar failing here, but I think you guys will forgive me. But, um, now check this guy out. Just oblivious. Just scooching around. <laughs> he couldn't quit spinning around fast enough. If he would have been, like, a, a second ahead of, ahead of me there, he would have been able to knife me climbing up there. But things worked out for me. But anyhow, I, uh, I wanted to talk about the fact that I kind of like the value that a live commentary has. I want to talk about that real quick. Uh, basically, what I think a live commentary can bring to the table is is meat and potatoes. No, not really. Actually, kind of. If you want to, if you want to be, uh, if you want to be metaphorical, I don't know if that's a word. But right there, that guy catches me uh, climbing over the over the uh, thingy. He cl he catches me in the climbing animation. But you'll see here that I climb over it here and within a minute or so. And I learn my... Actually, I think right here. Yeah, I'm going to go through here and climb it, I think. And I learn my lesson. I climb it and then I stand here for a second. But it doesn't matter because I jump down and get shotgun to the head. <laughs> Guy blows me up with an Olympia. But, uh, oh well. But yeah. Let me, get, let me stop losing my train of thought. I, I hate when people stand in the way like that. Oh my goodness. So retarded. Okay, I lost my train of thought again. Let's get back on it. Choo choo. Um, where was I? Yeah, live commentaries. I think that they bring a lot to the table. Not, I'm not talking about meat and potatoes. I'm talking about like the value they have. And to talk about the first one, and that's important to YouTube videos. Very important is entertainment. And obviously, I want to hold your guys' uh, attention and. You know, entertainment's basically the best way to doing that. I want to encourage you guys to watch my videos. And if you're entertained, obviously that's going to help out. So, why are they entertaining? Well, basically because when I die, I'm not usually a happy person. And in general, a live commentary, when you see people's reaction to stuff that happens, it's usually pretty funny. Not going to lie. And another thing that comes with uh, live commentaries is the fact that you know, you you get to see how the person's thinking, you know? You get to see why they're making a decision, 
as long as they're talk as long as they actually mention it, you know. But you know, if I if I tell you like why I'm gonna come around this corner here and if I, I point out things as I'm doing it, I can think of I'm thinking about it right there, so I know why I'm doing it, and I'm definitely gonna point it out because I'm basically gonna be talking about what I'm gonna be saying what I think. So it's gonna be able to basically get you in my mind in a way. Scary as that that sounds to me. Now I'm gonna invite you into my mind and you're gonna see why I do the things I do. So in that regard, you know, I think Call of Duty's a lot, you know, it can be compared to like chess, you know, it's very strategic and you gotta think about what you're doing. And you know, it's all about having a certain mindset in some in some senses. So if you can get like into the mindset that I'm in, you know, when I'm having a good game or such, you know, maybe that'll help you out. So Right there, I think I was trying to reload, but I accidentally picked up a gun, but I just went with it. I said, screw it. Okay, I'm just going to take it, because I love the foam. It's my favorite weapon. Probably. I know I say a lot of times that I don't like weapons that a lot of people use. I know a lot of people use this, but I just love it. I can't help it. It's my favorite gun. It's the first gun I started actually doing okay with in this game. You know, it's really the first good gun you get. So, like, I kind of just fell in love with it right away. But... Kind of like the same reason I love Killzone 1. It's like the first really good first person shooter I played. And that's why it holds a love to me. It's like, it's like your first love. The Famas, that was that to me. Anyhow, I mean, not. I want to talk about my live commentaries again. Oh, real quick, let me interrupt myself again. Catching these kids popping out of the Octo Mom with her legs spread there almost. It's popping out everywhere, and I'm eating them right as they come out. It's beautiful. I love whenever you have, like, the whole team coming out of there, and you got, like, the cover, and you're just eating them right as they come out. It is beautiful. I love it. But, um, yeah, one idea I had for live commentaries is just instead of, like, a just a plain, bland live commentary session would be something like... Basically, I would talk about all the submachine guns. Not really, like, the real-life submachine gun. I just mean, like, I would definitely, like, use each one once. And, like, say I would do all free-for-alls. And I would start with the MP5, the first submachine gun. And then I would just work my way up. You know, I would go to whatever submachine gun's next. Let me think. It's not coming to me. Maybe it's the Mac 11. I don't know. The AKU is pretty low too, I'm not sure. Anyway, I would just basically go to the next submachine gun, to the next submachine gun, all the way up to the Kaparis or how, Kiparis or however you say it, the last submachine gun, and I would, you know, I'd just do one game for every submachine gun. And I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. And definitely let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. And yeah, I, like I said, I think the live commentaries really bring an element that regular commentaries don't, so... You'll probably be seeing a lot of those when I, after about a week from now. And I also want to mention, I'm kind of getting bored with Black Ops, honestly. Uh, I don't really like to say that, but it's true. I know it seems like just yesterday, even though it was just last week, so it really wasn't that long ago, that I was doing the dual commentary with Daisho, and we were talking about how we were... You know, happy with Black Ops, and we weren't really getting bored with it. But here I am, a week later, telling you that I am. So, basically, you probably don't know this unless you're one of my first 38 subscribers. But my first couple of videos on this were actually on WoW. And before you scream nerd and unsubscribe, um, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty normal person. But um, for whatever reason, some people people just have so much hate on that game. But, uh, I don't know. Whatever. But what I'm saying here is that I'm going to start up another channel. And if you haven't already noticed, it's in my other channel section on my channel. And the channel name is re called Reaction RPG. And I'm going to be posting RPG games there that I play. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. But anyhow, a decent score of this game just because of the one kill streak. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out my channel. And once again, if you're interested, check out that other channel. Maybe subscribe and definitely give me some feedback. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.